Miss Steven Simmons, after arguably, no, not arguably, the biggest win in statesman history, uh, defeating West Florida for the first time ever, 3-2, going to the championship game, two goals from you, a huge save later, helping Mac Pittick. Just, just talk about, talk about the moment, talk about the win. Speechless, completely speechless. Um, that's the third time we played them this year, and I think, like coaches said, that it's difficult for the team to beat the team three times. Um, first game we were sloppy, they deserved the win. Second game at home, I think we were unlucky. So I think I think it just came down to who wanted it more. I think we just wanted it more. So I scored two goals, Jack, Cal, whoever, whoever gets the goal. I scored the more important one, but hey, it's a team performance. There's no individuals. It's all the subs, everyone else, coaching staff, trainers. It's, it's for everyone. We just want to go again on Sunday. You talk about being a team, going up, you went up one nothing. We've been there before twice with Florida. We went up 2 1. We've been there and they came back and tied it. How much, how important was it, how big was it to get that third goal and say, hey, we've been up 2 1 and gave it away, but we, we scored this third goal and it's ours this time? Yeah, it was huge, but like you just said, I think it came down to we wanted it more and I think we wanted it more. As you can see, I think we dominated most of the game. They're um, a very good side. Number one, ranked nationally, so. It just, like I said, it comes down to who wants it more, and I believe that we just wanted it more. And yeah, there was times when we thought, oh, here we go again. Like you said, we were up, and then they equalised. But once we got the fair goal, we just hung on in there, and I was happy to see the final whistle. Yeah, toward the end of the game, Romani gets sent off with the second yellow card. And now the statesmen go down to 10 men. Talk about the play. Uh, obviously, you come up with a big team save. Jack Pilly comes up with that. Austin Jackman deflects one. Talk about just the team effort shifting back and, and honing down defensively. Arguably, at one point this season was our big weakness, and we did it with 10 men. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I don't think it was a sending off, but when things like that happen, you just have to go with it. The refs aren't going to change his mind. Uh, we came together as a team, defended well. Uh, we went forward in the middle and scores in, made them go wide, and I think it worked. We, we limited them to long balls, and as you can see, most of them went over the bar. And what we had to deal with, we dealt with them. I think Mack was brilliant, the defence was brilliant, and like you say, we put three in the, three in the goal. When you put three in the goal, I think you deserve to win the game. So. With Jack Pilly now, Jack still debate out whether the goal is going to end up going to you. It did def look like it deflected off a teammate, but either way, ball comes to you near post. You get the header. It's going towards goal. Just talk about that moment and finally getting that goal. I just sort of got a target. And to be honest, I don't care if they give it to me or Calway. We got the goal to get us through. But it's all that matters. At the end of the day, it's a team sport, and we both we're both there at the moment. I got the first, they got the second. They went to the back and that's all that matters. It looked like defensively today, it was, it was going to be a big game. West Florida, a lot of speed, uh, kind of their, their home field a little bit, big crowd. They had a lot of energy. They played a lot of long ball. But the defense held true for most of the game. Very few mistakes. Obviously, some big team saves later in the game with the 10th center. Just talk about the defense finally getting that game that they needed. We've just been working on it all week in practice. It comes down to communication at the end of the day. Uh, everyone picks up communication. And as, as you can see, the, the performance has picked up. We knew everyone needs to be, and we just worked for each other on the pitch. Midfield dropped back when they needed to. Can't ask any more from the boys, to be honest. The team, going out through the year, we saw a lot of growing. We saw with the offense coming on, we see the defense pushing on. Talk about what this mean, what this win means to the team. Building through the year, second year under Watts, and just and being able to play for a tight end. It's fantastic. Uh, say, start of season, we started off well. Then we dropped off form for how many five games where it was. So let's pick it up. But winning that game, it's just as you can see, everyone's absolutely buzzing right now. And I've never seen anyone this happy, no team this happy. Just the momentum carries on to Sunday. Pick up and get a win there. To be honest. With head coach Matt Watts now, I've coached the biggest win in statesman soccer history. Win that sends the team to play for a conference championship on Sunday. I'm uh, lost for words, to be honest with you. I'm, I'm a little bit emotional about it. I'm really happy for the boys, so happy for them. They've worked hard, and, you know. Everything that we put in today, we deserved. We deserved to win, and uh, I'm, I'm so happy for the boys. I can't wait to play on Sunday and maybe get that, get that ring. You talk about the team. Just you, we've seen them go through some struggles this year and build, and it seemed like defensively at times there was a weakness. But today, even with 10 men, we saw the defense hold up. What does that mean? I know as a defensive player yourself, you always like to see that defense coming and just play like they did today. It was hard, I think, more than anything today. You know, it was it was wanting it. I think they learned from the last two two games that we've had had against West Florida, where we've had you know tough losses, 
and it was want and it was heart and it was desire and it was everything that, that we've been preaching to the boys, making sure we saw it all the way through to the 90th minute and beyond that if it needed to do it. And you know, like I say, 10, 10 men back to the wall for the last 10, 15 minutes against what, one of the best teams in the country and the best team in our conference and we pulled out a win. I'm over the moon, boys. Talk about you. They went up one nothing, and then they gave up that goal. They go up two one. We go up two one, and we go up that second goal. And it, you kind of, oh no, it might happen again. But then we get that third goal. Talk about just the team still pushing even after it was two two, and it's like you have that oh no again. But we've seen it twice this year already to, to fight forward. There was a certainly a sign of deja vu. But you know what? I think we have we preached so much to the boys that you know what was needed to win games and to make sure that we saw games I really thought they'd learn I thought you know I think that they've learned from it and that's important you know for a young side like this to understand that hey if we lose fair enough all right if it's been tough fair enough but can we learn from it and we have we've learned from it throughout the whole season and, and like I said to the boys everything that we've been doing throughout this whole season and and making sure that we we work hard, and me getting on them all the time, and my assistants getting them on all the time. That's what's got us to this point right now. That's what's got us to the final this summer. Talk about the win for you. I know it's obviously uh, a very touching win for you. Rush Ford is where you coach for two years. Bill Elliott, you've, you've talked about him like family for you. Finally getting that win over him. What does it mean to you? Like I said, I'm absolutely over the moon. I can't, can't quite believe it. Um, I'm sure it will sink in pretty soon. It's obviously nice to get one over West Florida, but you know, whether it be Bill or whether it be someone else, they were number one in, you know, in our conference and it was just a matter of going out and getting our job done and knowing that upsets can happen and you know, we know we've been playing well, we know that we're capable of beating these teams and today we went out and proved it. Uh, looking forward, Championship Sunday, CBU, a team that we suffered equally about the same kind of loss to losing in overtime. What, what's the mode going to be like? We rest up tomorrow. Um, you know, keep the confidence high of the boys. Um, that's a big thing that we've been preaching, making sure that we believe in ourselves. And, and you know, we just go again. I mean, we, they're going to be banged up, we're going to be banged up. It's, it's championship time and it's about who wants it the most. That's all it comes down to. And, and right now, I think my boys want it the most. Thank you very much, Coach. Congratulations. Thank you.